Ascension, Aquarius I am. We in the Aquarius age for the next 2,000 years, you dig? Swing low, time to move on. Light years and time ahead of our time. I want to free your mind by helping you understand the zodiac signs. That's right, you're live with Aquaman in the zodiac zone where the cosmos is your home. I'm your very own Ampu, the real urban guru coming through on the mother shit. So let's open up your cosmic memory bank and swing down to earth with a shit stain. Hey, hey, peace everybody and welcome back to Hip Hop Astrology TV. I'm your host, Ampu, the real urban guru, giving you the biggest, the best. I mean the best, man, the best astro information out here. How it corresponds to the things that we see inside of society, inside of culture, man. That's dope, all right? So let me let me give you the 411 on how this topic unfolded, all right? So my brother, the prime minister, Minister Jew, calls me yesterday and he like, bro, you got to do something on Lupe and Kendrick Lamar. I'm like, why? He's like, man, Lupe always got something to say about Kendrick. And recently it was something where Lupe says something like, I mean, he can rhyme, but he ain't no, he ain't a lyricist. Kendrick's not a, li a, a lyricist, right? And Juice said, man, it feels like, man, it's like Lupe's Mars, man. Now, see, this is where this information gets really, really good when you got a thorough understanding of what it is because you start to watch people's behavior and then you can I, it immediately identify the principle that's at work here okay so i'm like all right man well bump it let me go ahead and pull it up so i pulled it up while he was on the phone and this is what you're going to see now you're looking at a birth chart where it's two people's energy okay the planets in blue in the innermost part of the wheel is simply where the planets were at when kendrick was born okay the planets in red on the outer part of the wheel is where the planets were at when Lupe was born. All I'm doing is a synastry chart and seeing how do they energy combine with one another. Very important. So sure enough, we wanted to go find Mars and you see a double headed arrow that is pointing from Kendrick's Mars going down to Lupe's Mars in red. Notice when you look inside of the double arrow, there's a red line going from Lupe's Mars up to Kendrick's Mars. Okay, so Kendrick has Mars and Mercury close together. That's what gives him that, brah, that fast spit because Mars is animation. Go, 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 go. And Mercury, your learn is it deals with speech. So when you combine these two energies together, it's brah, rapid fire okay i happen to be born with that marker so lupe has mars saturn and pluto closely together and they're sitting at a position called a square okay it's called a square so give me give me a minute because i should have pulled this up because i know i got a square graph here um but i want you to know and i always say it all the time here it is Planets can square each other, which means they are about 90 degrees away. And that's what's happening. So when you look at Capricorn, I'm sorry, when you look at Cancer, where Kendrick has some energy at, over to Libra, where Lupe has some energy at, notice that is connected by a red line. That's called a square. They're about 90 degrees apart, three zodiac signs away. Here go that saying, stand on your square. People who square you will irk you, okay? It's, it's damn near almost guaranteed, especially when Mars is involved, okay? 
So they have Mars Square Mars. And I'm like, you know, and, and also Lupe's Mars is squaring Kendrick's Mercury. Interesting. So let's look at some key words here. Mercury. It deals with speaking, your mental exercise, communication. Okay, so it's all things dealing with rap. Okay, this is what Lupe criticized Kendrick for. He's not a lyricist. The ability to what? Speak, write, something dealing with that Gemini frequency. Okay. And Mars is an energy that represents friction, masculinity, two men, temper, war. It also gets very nasty. Blood, bloodshed, gunshots, fights. Okay. So the truth of the matter is, see, I'm, I don't like this because, because this could potentially, without a shadow of a doubt, turn into a physical thing. The truth of the matter is, I'm going to just say it. If the allegations are true, because I haven't seen, I'm not, I don't follow it like that. This, this particular story. Lupe just don't like Kendrick. When you have Mars squares Mars, this is a psychology of every single body that shows you how you want to fight, how you do fight. That's a fact. So when they square in each other, it's called, yo, it's time to square off. That's a classic saying when it's time to get busy. We got to square off. You got to understand that. Where do you think we getting this, 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 this lingo from? It is a cosmic concept within your psyche already that's there that we have to learn to understand. Okay? So you just don't like him. Let's just keep it 100. Now, here's another little piece here. An agitating piece. That little, red, that little arrow pointing to that little red thing of Lupe's. That shows me where Lupe must grow in this particular lifetime of his. It's called the North Node. It shows me what area of his life must he complete in order to um, really satisfy the soul's evolution. Sort of like a lesson. You got you to gotta come over here and learn this. It's very interesting that Kendrick Lamar has planets that operates the same area of space where Lupe is really to a degree forced to grow. The North Node represents the area of life that you must grow into. So Kendrick Lamar is literally the physical and cosmic embodiment of an area of space that deals with Lupe's potential growth. When you have Mars there at a square, okay, and also when you have um, Kendrick's Mars is in that area of space, it agitates you. That's just the truth. It's agitating. And Mars is a hater, man. I got to say it. Mars is a hater. He is because he represents warfare and conquest. So everybody got a right to defend themselves. Sure. But see, Mars is aggression. Aggression means how you will. Mars is a predator. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. He's a predator. He's not this peaceful Venetian sun Apollo type of energy. The moon, Diana is not that kind of energy. Jupiter wisdom is not that kind of energy. He wants to fight. Okay. And so Kendrick serves as a mirror to agitate Lupe into his soul's growth. But also Lupe can actually be seeing it like, nigga, I just don't like you. You overrated. And really to a degree is really saying you, you get in too much props because that should be me. And I can very, very, very easily see that. Okay. So if Lupe has deleted such comments from his social media, which I have told have been told that he has. Again, I don't know. I haven't seen any posts and then I don't know. But I've told I have been told that every every other site and already screenshot and got it right. But he's 
said things about Kendrick and then he's retracted them. I'm going to tell you what that retraction is about. So you got to really understand this. That means mentally you made an assessment and said, you know what? That could be taken out of context or I said that in some type of vein. I need to retract and pull that back. I was hating and I need to need to pull that back for some reason. You don't want to stand on your square with that, which means you analyze what you said. And somewhere in your own consciousness, you said that was wrong. I'm just saying if, if that's true. OK, so that means I'm telling you it's that Martian square that produce hate, man. It's a hater. This is why I'm telling you, you watch these videos. I have enough compelling evidence. I swear to you that we should consider blowing up Mars for real. And, and again, culture says it another way. You know, it says it like, oh, we're going to Mars. Elon Musk is going to Mars. Lil Wayne says, oh, I'm a Martian. That's really an imprint that to just trying to get earthlings to say, hey, you need to understand what Mars energy is. And then if you need to figure out how you can change that dynamic. See, listen, I ain't saying nothing crazy. Because if you go back to the Greek mythology, you're going to see that Aries, which is ruled by the planet Mars, Aries, the zodiac sign, Aries is the god of war. When you go into the Roman mythology, it becomes Mars. Mars is the god of war. It rules Tuesday, the day of war. And you start studying when the United States launched attacks, it'd be on Tuesday. I'm telling you, man, this is a science. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. I just wanted to give y'all that real fast, man. Show you how you can see this thing. There's so much information in this, man. Listen, Valentine's Day is coming. I'm about to create an awesome Valentine's Day gift. I'm about to give you a heads up what's coming next, what to look forward to. Because you got to understand your energy with your lover and or with your brother, with your sister, whoever. All right. And it's all energy. I'm going to show you Puff Daddy and um, his wife, Casey, right? Um, I'm going to show you they, they energy. I'm going to show you Jada Pickett and Will Smith energy. I'm going to show you Gabriel Union and Dwayne Wade, um, energy. All right. I'm going to show you those three relationships and how it works in this compatibility system that I developed a few years ago that I'm just, I'm about to just show you how it works. It's going to be crazy phenomenal. I'm going to show you why. People come together in the aspect of love. I can show you accidents like I've been showing you. I can show you anything that's going on. And coach, I always show you the correspondence. But now I'm about to shift the focus and show you what's up on this love game. All right. So you want to subscribe to the channel so you can get the update. Subscribe. All right. Shout out to college. You got to have good energy, man. It's all about the good energy. The key for the day for me is don't play yourself. All right. Don't play yourself. And also two keys, respect the code. All right. Self-activation workbook. Get that. Myastrologycoach.com, shop tab, books. Become smart. Become more intelligent. Become more alive. Know yourself. All right. That's how you don't play yourself. That's how you respect the code. Know yourself. All right. Self-activation workbook on the site. You need me, get at me. Peace. Prophecy is what we all have to go by now.